Confidence is beauty. When you walk in that room, it really doesn't matter the size of your dress, what outfit you're wearing, what you even look like. People feel the confidence and that's what draws them in and they're like, oh, who's she? Hi everyone, I'm Tracy. And I'm Jessica. Today we're hanging out with Kelly Lavelle. Kelly is a 16-time award-winning thought leader and a three-time TEDx speaker. She's ranked by LinkedIn as a top millennial influencer in entrepreneurship. And she's doing it all without compromising her own unique style. I've learned that I have a quirky personality. I didn't know that at first, but I guess people around me think I do. And I, I guess now that I think about it, I maybe do. Um, I have my hair accessory. It's become a trademark look for me. You Google me online, you will see this hair accessory in every photo. I dare you to try and find one that it's not. <laughs> I'm not wearing one. I've always felt like a fish out of water in the sense that I'm a really girly girl. I love arts and fashion but I love science and I was quite a, like I was a nerd in school. Like I loved, I had my chemistry sets and slime kits and I would love calculus was my favorite subject. And so I was a huge academic. And so when I went to university, I was in science in halls of like 900 people and they would joke and tease me and be like, oh, are you lost? Are you trying to find social science building? Because no one dressed like I did. I realized that those unique qualities that maybe I hid that um, I didn't feel comfortable sharing with everyone all the time actually was what made me me. So I started to embrace it more. So I tie dyed my lab coat pink, bedazzled it with glitter glue. And so I was the only one in, in like the university history that had this pink lab coat. And um, I started to just be more bubbly and just be Kelly and people liked it. I got pushed back. My mentors told me, don't wear the hair accessory. It's too feminine. They won't take you seriously. It's too juvenile. And you know what? Now I have CEOs ask me when I don't wear it and say, where's your hair accessory? I heard it's your thing. I won the Queen's Young Leader Award. And um, this award was founded for um, in recognition of Her Majesty's legacy. So it um, is awarded to young people across the Commonwealth countries under the age of 30 who are using their skills to transform lives and leave a legacy of impact. I have friends in over 50 countries from that and now my network spans about 100 countries. So it's really exciting. <laughs> I was ill in high school and it was a very prominent um, component of my story for when I first started. So that's how I started as a motivational speaker, sharing those hardships and stories. Basically spent three years of my, basically all of high school in hospital. And um, because of that, I had to drop all my extracurriculars and I was forced to drop out of school, the very thing that gave me life, particularly when I was bullied a lot. So I literally was left with nothing. I had been a competitive dancer and one of those girls that was involved in everything. So you can imagine that just stripped dance, horseback riding, arts, anything that what I used to define me. And when I came out of hospital, the one thing and only thing that was available to me at that point was volunteering. So I found my voice and along the way I built up this huge resume of all extracurricular volunteer projects. Not only was I able to get a full scholarship into university, I got advanced acceptance into the Ivy School of Business. That and an enrichment program called Scholars Electus. So I got to three enrichment programs. Basically, I created my own makeshift impact resumes and that's how um, Lavelle Corporation kind of evolved. But um, yeah, it started all with just volunteer projects, built up my skills to a point where eventually I could call it a business. <laughs> Working with young, aspiring social entrepreneurs, we have a brand called Change Generation that gives them resources, shares stories of everyone from six-year-olds up to 30 years old who are using their talents and skills to make the world a better place. I actually produced a book called The Power of Youth that featured stories from youth in 59 countries. And we did have a six-year-old and quite a few seven and 10-year-olds that were had substantial businesses. And then we have really cool things like some, um, I have an engineer in Romania that restored sight to the blind with these glasses that it's like 97% of your sight is restored. And someone else who has found a cure to malaria and these really cool things and then very heart-wrenching things. This is the first generation in history that prioritizes passion within their top three workplace values. 
salary is only, is only in the top five, it beats all of that. And social responsibility is the top workplace value aside from job security. You're seeing a generation that's passionate about purpose, that they want to feel valued in the workplace, they want that growth, and they want to see the impact of their time and efforts, um, which is starkly different than how businesses are meant to run. We're supposed to be efficient, operational, it's all about the bottom line. A lot of my work focuses with the youth on helping them figure out what is that step? How do you take this great idea or this ambition and make it into something that's practically intangible here in this world? And then helping businesses um, understand the potential of youth-led innovation, tap into that. So I've spoken quite a bit at the United Nations on entrepreneurship education and social entrepreneurship as a catalyst for sustainable development. For women watching this, on um, what I think they should know. Know you can. I think that's the biggest thing. Women doubt themselves more than men. And not only that, or we have to be reassured and told, or there's so many and ifs or buts before you actually do something. Know you can and do it. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe because we have a new video out every Wednesday. And we love your feedback, so please leave your comments and also don't forget to hit on that bell icon. That way you'll get notice of all our new videos. See you next time.